Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a squishy toaster phone holder. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I made a pop tart phone case. So I wanted to make a phone holder that would go with it. And if one squishy video is not enough, I just uploaded a new video over on my second channel. It's a mini toast squishy along with the packaging. So if you wanna watch that, I'll leave a link for it down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new here and if you'd like to stick around for future videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. For this DIY, I'm going to be using memory foam, but you can also use a big kitchen sponge or some other kind of foam. I got a lot of questions about where I get my memory foam from, and I cut this off from a memory foam pillow that I have, which I got from Walmart, and if you go to Walmart, they have a lot of memory foam pillows and mattresses. So you can buy a pillow and cut memory foam out of that if you want to use memory foam. So I'm cutting this in a rectangle like shape like a normal toaster would be like. I'm cutting off the foam very slowly and I'm making sure that I'm doing really small little snips so that it's all nice and even and you want to make sure to also round off the edges of the rectangle. Once you're happy with the shape, I'm going to go ahead and cut a slot. Now I know a regular toaster has two, but I'm going to cut out one. And I'm going to do one because it's not going to balance if you end up cutting two slots. So to maintain the balance when you put your phone on top, you only want to cut out one. That way it's going to balance and it won't like fall down. So to give the toaster some color, I'm going to use fabric paint. I did mix in a lot of white fabric paint into this bright teal color so that it would be more of a pastel. The easiest way to paint the squishy is to wear a pair of gloves and do it with your fingers. That way you'll do it faster and you'll also end up using less paint which is always good. By the way, I did do a second layer of the paint because the first layer was kind of patchy. I mean, I could have ignored it, but I wanted it to be all perfect and not patchy even like the slightest. So that's why I did a second layer, but you don't really have to. Once you're done painting the squishy, let it sit for about an hour before you move on to the next step. Now I'm going to take some black fabric paint and I'm going to draw on a cute face. So I'm making the eyes and I did this really slowly so that I don't mess up. Then you want to add in the expression so I made a laughing face. I did also mention this in my bread squishy phone holder video but you can make this into a phone charger if you want. You just have to cut a little hole at the bottom and then you can just put the wire through it but I personally don't want to do that so that's why I just skipped that step but that is an option if you're interested. To give it even some more detail, I'm going in with some black fabric paint and I'm going to paint the inside with it. I think this gives it a really nice touch and it also makes it look very realistic. To make the little button of the toaster, I'm not really sure if there's a word for it, but I'm taking some more memory foam and I'm going to cut a little button-like shape. I'm painting that with some black fabric paint as well. Going in with some black again, I'm making a line 
and again I don't know what you call this part or if there's a name for it but yeah I'm taking some glue and I'm going to glue the button And there is the completed toaster squishy. I really love how it turned out. As you can see, it is super squishy. And I really love that it goes so well with the Pop-Tart phone case. And that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.